So our Archicad tip of the week this week is creating a custom door handle. So I'm going to take you through these steps. This is a, another component option and one that actually I've seen a number of users use because it's quite powerful. The options that are in Archicad, they do have a fair amount of different uh, handles to pick from. But as we know in the world, there's a lot more door handles that are available out there. And sometimes you want to see that very specific door handle for a client uh, as part of the design. So it's not that difficult to create this. I'm going to take you through these steps. Uh, as you can see, this is our example up here with a door, a door handle and also the lock set and panel is part of that. So we want to create this entire unit. So the first thing I would do is I would open up my slab settings. I would go in and define the slab to be maybe an eighth inch thick for that piece of metal. Uh, it could be a one inch thick, quarter inch thick, whatever it needs to be. Uh, select the material you want, how far you want it off the floor, probably be the same thickness, right? Um, and the material you want, and then go ahead and describe that material. Once you've done that, in this case, if we want to create this circular piece of the lock, then what we're going to want to do is to first go and draw a circle. So you want to go to the circle tool and then draw your circle and the radius uh, for that that's appropriate. Then we're going to use that as a guide to actually place uh, a slab. So now we're going to go back to slab tool. Uh, maybe we want this to be a quarter inch thick or maybe we want it to be thinner, or we want that to be. Uh, we select a size for that. We then hold down our space bar that'll, uh, that'll activate the magic wand. We simply click on the edge of this circle we created, and that will automatically create uh, this circle to represent that part of the lock set. Once we've done that, we, we can basically select that slab we created, and similar to what I described before, we create the whole um, in a uh, shutter panel, uh, we can do the same thing here. What I would first do is go and draw a circle here, a smaller circle for the actual lock, um, and then select that slab, select the slab tool, hold down the magic wand, click on the edge of this cir smaller circle, and it will now create a hole in that slab that looks like that. And if you need to create uh, that, you know, um, if you need to create the thickness of, you know, so right now you can see how this is a little bit thicker. It's the same thickness, but you can see how this might not be, um, you know, uh, the same thickness. So if you want to do that, then what you could do is, again, go back to your slab settings, uh, maybe create a slab that's a sixteenth of an inch thick, and then click in the middle of this uh, smaller circle, and it will create another smaller one inside that that you can then uh, draw the hole in. So in other words, we're gonna draw the hole in the smaller slab circle it creates instead of doing it in the background. So we did it here, then it created a hole all the way through this back panel, which we don't want. So we're gonna create a hole that just goes through the smaller one right here. Now that we've done that, I can draw a, um, a uh, little square rectangle here. So basically by selecting uh, that inner circle, I can then go and draw a rectangle in there and create a hole. So now I've created a hole. For that rectangle is part of that. Let's uh, um, uh, so go back to that second. It's gonna be right in there. Once we've got that set, our next step is to create the actual door handle. So the way you create the door handle is, again, several steps here. We want to create uh, this um, piece on the outer part of it, the base. We then want to create the sloped part for the handle uh, 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 base as well, um, and then the, the larger base, and, um, and the, I should say, the rotating part of the handle, and then this part of the handle, which is the grip. So we're going to then first create another circle. We're then going to type in, maybe this is supposed to be a half inch thick for this base. So we're gonna then type in half inch for our uh, thickness of the door handle. Uh, again, selecting the, the appropriate material. Uh, we're then going to click the circle and place the slab. Once we've done that, we're then gonna to wanna to draw uh, this uh, rotating part of the um, handle. 
So to do that, we're actually gonna use a basic shape. If you've not used these before, there's lots of, if you go to this folder here, it's in the um, Archicad library under special construction, under basic shapes. And one of the options in here, there's many of them, is the, co the cone. And the cone, actually, I can control the top circle radius and I control the bottom circle radius. So if I want the bottom, for example, it would be uh, three quarters of an inch, and the top to be one half inch, and then to have the cone length to be one and a three quarters of an inch tall, I can do that so it slopes out, okay? So it starts to give me that same kind of look and feel that I have for the rotating part of the handle. And then I, of course, would place that in the middle of the circle to give it, uh, you know, the outer uh, uh, um, base uh, and then our rotation piece uh, in, within that. And the final step is to create the door handle. Uh, in this case, I'm not going to go into creating all the circular part. I'm just going to create a very simple handle to kind of show you here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use the slab tool again. I'm going to create a slab that is kind of sloped a little bit. First thing I'm going to do is open this up, make this be maybe a quarter inch thick. Uh, I want it to be maybe one and 13 sixteenths of an inch or whatever you want that to be from basically, you know, this part of the handle down to the panel, right? And so you all this set. Draw your you know, slab here for the handle, uh, maybe a little thicker on this side, sloping to a little shorter on that side. Uh, then you may want to curve this edge here so that it looks you know, nice like that. So if you select, just basically click this edge, I can, and then in your pet palette, select the curve. I can then curve it so it matches the curve of my um, uh, rotation uh, piece. And then if I want to curve the end of the, 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 uh, the um, handle, same thing, just click on the edge of the straight part of the slab, select your curve option, and then curve it out however far you want. And now you've got the handle assembly created. So then our next step, of course, is to save the handle. So what we're going to do, we're going to want to go select all that, the, the pieces we created. Create it. We're going to want us to go to the file menu, libraries and objects, save selection as. Then you're going to go down and select handle. This is going to be for a door handle. This is separate from a door knob. This is for cabinets as a knob, handles for doors. This dialog will come up. Type in whatever name you want, in this case my door handle, and go ahead and go OK. When we open up the door settings, we navigate to the door leaf and handle, and then we can go over and select under our handle options here, we would select the custom handle option. And once we do that, this will then appear. This is what this is the custom component we saved, right? And by selecting that, going OK, our door is now going to have that door handle on it. And that's really all the steps there is to it. It's a pretty simple process. Obviously, there's some steps involved into creating that handle, modeling it. But once you have that, you can really make this handle, you know, however you want uh, to look. And so uh, keep that in mind. Uh, this is something that you can do. Uh, really add some nice detail and finesse to a door when you're trying to give a specific design to match a manufacturer part. And that is our tip of the week.